Okay, this is going to be the tutorial on how to use the Pathfinder to create your own uh, unique shapes. Alright, um, you know, we spent some time in the warm up uh, creating our own shapes, and we also did like um, a free shape um, drawing assignment um, at the very beginning of this um, project. But you know, I want to quickly review to you how do you make the shapes in Illustrator. So, to make the shapes, uh, basically, you're going to be using the Pathfinder to make the shapes. All right, and um, we're just going to make a couple of uh, different shapes to show you. Uh, but the warm up that we worked on last class, I had you guys make a um, make a heart. <clears throat> so in order to make the heart, it took about two circles and a square. So uh, you know, just remember those quick command keys that I gave you. The, um, the little cheat sheet I gave. Uh, you know, you can copy paste the shape. So the circle here, I'm going to um, let me change this to a solid color. Let me change it black. But if you copy the circle, so I hit Command C and then Command V. Command V is going to be the paste. So make sure to make that correction on that uh, little paper. I did I did write down Command P, but that's incorrect. So it's going to take two circles and a square to uh, make the. Uh, shape and again to you know make sure the it doesn't stretch and skew you hold shift click and drag make a square and then use the selection tool and hold shift and you're just going to rotate it so it's you know the triangle or the um, the uh, square looks like a diamond so I'm going to resize these circles just to line it up and you know this is how I want to create my my heart so that's pretty good, pretty good shape for a heart. Yeah, I can move this up a little bit. So you know, do take your time when you're making your shapes, but that's how you make the heart. You're gonna click and drag, highlight all those items, and then you either hit unite or merge. So they both do the same thing, but it's gonna make that one shape for the heart. All right, now if you want to create some interesting line patterns. This is another thing I showed everybody. Is uh, if you overlap the circles. Um, this is another way you can um, create some interesting lines. Actually, let me uh, copy paste this one. So copy, command C, command V. Uh, this is like another shape we created last class. So it's overlapping these two. And I'm just going to get this nice curve here. And I'm going to do minus front. And it's going to create that curve. Sometimes you might need to do a uh, minus back if it's, um, you know, for example, this was like on the back of the thing behind it then you would do whoops minus back alright so these are going to be minus or minus back but that's going to make this curve and this command C command V and I'm just going to make it smaller hold shift make it smaller alright so you can also use it to make some interesting lines and patterns too so I'm going to highlight both of them command C command V these two commands are going to be your best friend because they're going to make it so much easier and so much quicker to create your shapes and designs. So, all right, that's another way you can create um, patterns or lines. It's utilizing the curves <coughs> from the shapes. Uh, some you want to, you can also play around with the rotate tool if you want to make something that's more um, uh, symmetrical. For example, this shape here, All right, you can um, copy, paste it, and then just overlap it again. And this time I'm going to be using the rotate tool. Alright, rotate tool. And the way the rotate tool is, is it's going to be like a little um, crosshair here. And you can click and drag that crosshair. Now just click it to the point where you want to rotate. So I'm going to rotate it on this axis, and I'm just going to drag it. Alright, but you know, if I click on it, let's say I copy, or let's say I'm going to paste this a command V, it's going to paste another shape here. Alright, let's just say if I just use the rotate tool. If I just use the rotate tool, it's going to rotate on that axis. So you always want to click and drag this over here on that point, and then you can rotate it. Alright, but you know, you can make a lot of different kinds of patterns. So copy pasting again, putting on that point, lining it up. Rotating on the that point. And there you go. So I'm just you know creating just this pattern here with just repeating the shape over and over again. 
So, you know, I, I suggest looking up how to do some patterns and maybe get some ideas. Because, uh, you know, doing the patterns is going to make your drawings look a little more interesting. Looks like I do one more over here. Oops. Alright, but that's how you're going to use the, um, the shape tool. I'm going to make one more here. Just rotate it on this axis. I'm only missing one. Alright, but those are yeah, a couple different options on how you can make your shapes. Uh, but one thing to keep in mind of, after you're done with making your shapes, like for example here, if I click on it, then I'm only picking up these single points. But if you want to make this all one shape, uh, click and drag, highlight the whole thing, and you're going to hit Command G, and Command G is going to group it. So now when I click on that shape, it's going to click on that whole thing. Same thing right here, if um, you know, I don't want to drag individual points, as you know, it's very tedious. Once your shape's complete, hit Command G, as in game, that's going to group all of them. So you ungroup the shapes again, you're going to hit Command Shift G, and it'll separate them all again. Alright, but those are just a couple of things you want to keep in mind of when you make your shapes. Uh, those commands are up here, so Command G is going to be group, Command G is going to be ungroup. All right.